All right, with the heating, again, we're going to start to mix some things up. So I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to attach it. Number one, we're going to call this hooked in front. So if it's hooked in front, it's basically running through the midline of my body in front of me. And I'm just going to set up as if I were hitting. Again, based on the prescribed volume, you're going to make your swings, the number of swings. And then you're going to take this off and make swings without the cords. So that is hooked in front. Hooked behind is simply taking the cord, hooking it behind you, making the swing. However many prescribed swings that you have on the program, you're going to take it off and then you're going to make swings without it. So, so far we went heavy and then we went light. So whatever color, if you have blue or gray, you're going to start with the heavier one, you're going to move to the lighter one. Now, a couple of other ways that we're going to do this, and I'll set it up here. So if I wanted this in front, so we're going to call this, it's hooked to the front hip and now I'm swinging there. So this is a lot more just anti-rotation. Another way is to keep it attached to that hip. And now as I start to work from the front hip and it's hooked behind, that's really going to help you start to clear the hips and accelerate the hips through the deceleration process. So as you look at your swing volume, let's say for example, you've got two swings with it hooked behind, two swings with it hooked in front, two swings hooked behind from the front hip, and then two swings where it's hooked in front and it's helping the, the front hip stay closed again. Anytime I set it up in the front, whether it's hooked in front or hooked behind, that's going to be more anti-rotation.